Have you ever wondered about the mysterious beginnings of the universe and the secrets it still holds? What if I told you that there might have been another Big Bang that flooded our universe with dark matter particles, and we might be able to detect it? In this video, I am going to explain the groundbreaking research that proposes the existence of a dark Big Bang and how it could change our understanding of the cosmos. But before we continue, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our channel's supporters. Your generous support allows us to continue bringing you informative and quality content. We truly appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and for supporting our work. Let me tell you a story about the universe and its mysterious beginnings. You see, according to the standard cosmological picture, the early universe was a very exotic place. It all started with the Big Bang, which sent our universe into a period of extremely rapid expansion. When inflation ended, the exotic quantum fields that drove that event decayed, transforming themselves into the flood of particles and radiation that remain today. As the universe expanded and cooled, those particles began to assemble themselves into the first protons and neutrons during what we call Big Bang nucleosynthesis. But despite the success of our picture of the early universe, we still do not understand dark matter, which is the mysterious and invisible form of matter that takes up the vast majority of mass in the cosmos. The standard assumption in Big Bang models is that whatever process generated particles and radiation also created the dark matter. However, a team of researchers have proposed a new idea. They argue that our inflation and Big Bang nucleosynthesis eras were not alone. Dark matter may have evolved along a completely separate trajectory. In this scenario, when inflation ended, it still flooded the universe with particles and radiation. But not dark matter. Instead, there was some quantum field remaining that did not decay away. As the universe expanded and cooled, that extra quantum field did eventually transform itself, triggering the formation of dark matter. The advantage of this approach is that it decouples the evolution of dark matter from normal matter, so that Big Bang nucleosynthesis can proceed as we currently understand it while the dark matter evolves along a separate track. This approach also opens up avenues to explore a rich variety of theoretical models of dark matter, because now that it has a separate evolutionary track, it's easier to keep track of in the calculations to see how it might compare to observations. For example, the team behind the paper were able to determine that if there was a so-called dark Big Bang, it had to happen when our universe was less than one month old. The research also found that the appearance of a dark Big Bang released a very unique signature of strong gravitational waves that would persist into the present-day universe. Ongoing experiments like pulsar timing arrays should be able to detect these gravitational waves if they exist. We still do not yet know if a dark Big Bang happened, but this work gives a clear pathway to testing the idea. And now, it's time to answer one of your questions. This comment comes from CD who brings up an interesting idea about the origin of the universe and the concept of black hole and white hole entanglement. CD suggests that this theory suggests the possibility of a cyclic universe where the Big Bang is just one phase in a repeating cycle of contraction and expansion. Some scientists also propose that the universe may be infinite in size and age, constantly regenerating itself. But as CD asks, where does a circle begin? While we may not have a clear answer to this philosophical question, it is important to continue exploring the mysteries of the universe and expand our understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, CD, and for keeping the conversation going. And that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with family and friends who might be interested. Thank you for watching.